It looks like a picture from a horror movie, but this is the real situation on the streets of Ukrainian settlements in the suburbs of Kyiv. Over the days, the Ukrainian armed forces managed to push the Russian occupiers out of the Kyiv region. Invaders left dozens and in some cities hundreds of civilians killed. The Ukrainian satellite towns of Kyiv, Bucha, Irpin and Hostomel are a living museum of the most horrible war crimes. The streets of the towns are strewn with the bodies of civilians shot by occupiers. Oh, that's that's really hard hard to to describe what we have found in the uh, recently deoccupied de territories like Bucha, like Ostomel, like Irpin. Uh, um, these images are uh, really they are, they are heartbreaking. We we found uh, mass graves uh, filled with, with civilians. Uh, we found uh, people with their hands and with their legs tied tied up. If it's uh, do I say it correctly, tied up and was 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 shots was bullet holes at the back of their heads. So they were clearly they were clearly civilians and they were executed. Residents said their neighbors have been killed under the fire from Russian troops during their months-long occupation. The smell of explosives still hung in the cold, dank air, mingling with the stench of death. They were civilians with bikes, their stiff hands still gripping bags of shopping. Some had clearly been dead for many days, if not weeks. The bastards. Tanks. The tank behind me was shooting. Those people were just walking and they shot them without any reason. Bang! In the next neighborhood, Stekolka, it was even worse. They would shoot without asking any questions. Mayor of Bucha Anatoly Fedoruk said more than 300 residents of the town had been killed and the mass grave in the grounds of the church was still open, with hands and feet poking through the red clay heaped on top. The town of Bucha faced military action and the enemy left their gifts for us after fierce fighting, given their inhuman treatment, including that of civilians. I will give an example. Corpses of executed people still lying in the Yabunska street in Bucha. Their hands are tied behind their backs with the white civilian rags. They were shot in the back of the heads. So you can imagine what kind of lawlessness they perpetrated here. We will record this page of our history and it will be used at their tribunal. But I wouldn't like to talk about that now. Russian invaders left such gifts not only on the streets but inside homes, in basements of buildings. In one of the houses, the occupiers set up a headquarters with two rooms. In the first was a tortured chamber, in the second the civilians were shot in the back of the head. The bodies are still there. A woman in the basement said, Tanya, look in our basement, maybe yours is there. I came, I recognized him by his sneakers and pants, and he was lying like this. When we turned him around, he was all beat up and we peeled him off the wall. Invaders tied people's hands, put them on their knees and faced the wall. A shot and the person was gone. I understand there was a separate room for an FSB specialist. There was an interrogation room. And in the next room we found five civilians with their hands tied and their heads shot in the back of their heads. Oleksiy Arestovich, advisor to the head of the office of the president of Ukraine, named this brutal killing of people by Russian occupiers in Kyiv region the evidences for Ukraine's law enforcement agencies and international criminal courts. This will certainly be taken into account by the prosecutor's office of Ukraine. Law enforcement agencies and international criminal courts. I urge all of us to remember this and I want to assure you that no crime will go unpunished. There will be no other news today. The world should be horrified by what happened in Bucha, Irpin and Hostomel. Unfortunately, I think that in other cities of Ukraine the picture is no better. The most outrageous atrocity of the 21st century. This is how Foreign Minister of Ukraine Dmitry Kuleba named civilian killings committed by Russian forces in the town of Bucha. Kuleba called for further sanctions on Russia including a complete energy embargo. Bucha massacre is the most outrageous authority, uh, atrocity of the 21st century. And by saying uh, we, we all uh, refer to Bucha, but we should not forget about other towns and villages in the Kiev region, 
which uh, also uh, became the crime scene for Russian army. Without an exaggeration, uh, by what we've seen in Bucha and vicinity, uh, we can conclude that Russia is uh, worse than ISIS in the, it's in the scale and the ruthlessness of the crimes committed. International community is also shocked over the massacre in Bucha. Ministers of Foreign Affairs of the EU countries called on the European Union to strengthen sanctions against Russia due of Russian occupiers' war crimes. Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Germany have already appealed. Genocide and war crimes committed against innocent civilians by the Russian troops in Bucha, Ukraine, must be met with new sanctions and increased military assistance to Ukraine. Latvia will continue insisting on full EU energy sanctions against Russia and port closures. Edgars Rinkevichs, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Latvia on Twitter. Russian army of mass murderers retreat from Bucha reveals full scale of atrocities. We can only imagine what is going on in other occupied territories. No other way around. Buying Russian oil and gas is financing war crimes. Dear EU friends, pull the plug, don't be an accomplice. Gabrielus Wansbergis, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Lithuania on Twitter. European Council President Charles Michel said he was shocked by reports of Russian atrocities in the key region and stressed that new sanctions awaited Russia and called on to collect the evidence of Russia's war crimes for international courts. Shocked by haunting images of atrocities committed by Russian army in Kyiv, liberated region, EU is asking Ukraine and NGOs in gathering of necessary evidence for pursuit in international courts. Further EU sanctions and support are on the way. Slava Ukraini! Charles Michel, President of the European Council on Twitter. The United Kingdom also insists on the collection of evidence for the International Criminal Court. Foreign Secretary of the United Kingdom, Liz Truss, said that those responsible will be held to account. Appalled by atrocities in Bucha and other towns in Ukraine, reports of Russian forces targeting innocent civilians are abhorrent. The UK is working with others to collect evidence and support International Criminal Court war crimes investigation. Those responsible will be held to account. Liz Truss, Foreign Secretary, Minister for Women and Equality of the UK, on Twitter. Ukraine's Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov says he feels certain that Russia will have to answer to the International Criminal Court over its actions in Ukrainian cities, including the Kyiv suburbs of Bucha. Yes, I think it's uh, new cases for the GAG, International Criminal Court, and I think that will be a lot of evidence and we will see new Nuremberg process, uh, probably in Bucha, probably in Irpin or in Kharkiv or in Mariupol. It will be a lot of new Nuremberg process against the criminal, military criminal uh, who did it in our country. Meanwhile, residents of satellite towns of Kyiv are continuing to search for their fellows and relatives' bodies. At this settlement, curfew has already started and will last till morning of April 5. This time, Ukrainian law enforcement bodies are providing the mining cooperation and research works. Reported by Roman Smoller, UATV News.